Hi, as you probably know, if you are watching this video, this Monday, Maria Sharpova told to the world she has failed a drug test at Australian Tennis Open this year. It seemed that the product she was using and she was positive in this drug test was meldonium. That is another name for mildronate. In this video, I will tell you in a few words what is this drug, why this is used, why this is used by athletes, and after that, this is a little theoric, and after I will tell you about a good friend of, of mine that used it for two years. So we will have theory and practice. Of course, using drugs for sport, this is not good. This is illegal, this is forbidden, so don't do this. Okay, after this little disclaimer, let's start. What is Maldonium? Maldonium is a drug commonly used to treat air condition like heart failure. But meldonium is also used by athletes because it can also improve physical capacity and mental skills in healthy people. The only thing that interests us in this video it is to know if yes or not meldonium can help someone like her that make some tennis competitions. Meldonium seems to improve rehabilitation after your exercise, protect against stress, it can improve the functions of your central nervous system. But one of the most important effects for that interest athletes to use meldonium is that it increases the blood flow which improve exercise capacity. Why that? This is very simple. Because you can carry more oxygen to your muscle. So, which benefits from someone that play tennis, like Maria? This is easy to understand. She will not be able to run faster, okay, but she will be able to run more. And we will see she will be able to run more and uh, the most important to feel less tired for the same volume of effort and at the same time she will be able to have some more coordination because his central nervous system will be quicker and this is very important for a sport like tennis in which you have to catch the ball let's say like that she will have more reflex. It is easy and not so true, say this way, but it gives you an idea. Okay, we have to know that the World Anti-Doping Agency officially banned meldonium this year. Now, this was some theory and now some practice. I had a good friend of mine that was a boxer, amateur, not a professional, but he made some fights and uh, he, he was really on it. One day he told me about that, about Madonium. And from what he told me, he was taking this drug for around two years. So I asked him why, because you know a boxer. On the moment I didn't know what was this shit. And he told me to make an example that one, uh, he used to make one hour run each day for, for cardio. And uh, he told me that since he started this uh, medication, he was able to run around 10 minutes more and feel it the same way. Uh, what 
do I mean that he run one hour, 10 minutes, and he feel like he has run one hour. So this is quite a good improvement. And uh, he doesn't speak to me about some uh, reactivity. He told me anything about that, but the first thing was endurance and the second thing was recovery. From what he told me, his recovery was really quicker. But wait, not recovery from all. He told me that when he trained like he used to lift some weights to gain some power. And for that he told me it doesn't change anything. But the big deal was recuperation after cardio, after long effort in the time. And for that he told me he was ready to start again with more energy quicker than when he didn't use it. So, this is uh, what he told me. This is it. So, can Maldonium help someone that play tennis or that make that run a marathon or that make some other stuff like this? Yes, he helps and it can make a big difference. Not a small one, a big one. This is the reason the World Anti-Doping Agency have chosen to ban it. Because, yeah, it is a big help. And uh, so, is she guilty or not? That this is not my business. This is what I know about this shit. So, write in the comments what you think about this fucking story. And uh, if you like this kind of video. Anyway, I decide. See you next time for another video. And remember.